Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about MVC model binder. MVC model binder allows you to map HTTP request data with the model. HTTP request data means when a user makes a request with the form data from the browser to a controller, at that time model binder works as a middleman to the map incoming HTTP request with the controller action method. Means like that uh, if uh, that uh, someone is request means like uh, if you take the request from that view so it uh, that view will know that once uh, which controller you need to call and that uh, that input data it's going to pass through that HTTP request and it will once it will be reached to that controller so that there it will be decide that which action method you have to bind and which action method and uh, which model because that uh, if you take the example just like uh, you have uh, two methods one is the get student name and uh, second one is the get employee once uh, some data is uh, is request from that browser from the view behalf of the, the browser so it will be reached to that controller so controller will decide to which uh, action method which action method need to pass so sp.net provides a various option to map the http request views data to model properties via controller action method there are two types first one is the form collection and second one is the model binding form collection the main objective is to capture the form input value and maps with the respective controller section method let's first we'll check with the form collection <coughs> Uh, sorry for that open the file open new project sorry not open file new project select that web sp.net application web app here i'm going to write model binder click on Select that MVC, uh, empty template, MVC, click OK. Open the solution explorer because project that wallet uh, project has been created. Now right click on the controller, add controller, add controller, MVC, empty controller, then going to write home controller. Now in that index, I'm going to write, right click and add the view, click add. In the home control, I'm going to write one more action method that is for post. Here I'm going to pass form collection, I'm going to write form. So this one will be the HTTP post. Okay. Now I'm going to write some field. This one will be the I'm going to write a student. Student. So first will be the form tag. Action. Your action. Home, then index. Next will be the method that will be the post. Inside of that, first I'm going to write a student ID. Now input type that will be the text box input type text, and then name that is a main important because this one name is going to pass from view to that controller controller section so this one will be the student id okay. placeholder student id now for same make a break this one for student name so this one student name 
means to write name and third one it will be the code okay so this one will be the code not add one button that will be the submit button and put time submit that value is the submit submit so here that i will get the value just going to write like a first or you can write like a where that will be the student id first one will be the student id that form collection like a form student id dot to string going to convert to string second one is that name third one is code now run the application Now going to write that student ID is one zero zero one name is the text return and that one is the code one zero one zero zero one. Just I'm going to press the submit. Let's see now if you select now you can see that one it's binding. Okay. Because of that particular name, the this name, this name, it's binding that value. Okay, you can see here also that name Tectusan code is a zero zero one. Okay, now another way is that that is the model binder. In the model binder, we need to create the model class. With the required data field, and after that we can pass the model object into controller action method for the data binding. But here, if you will look that one, that form collection, there is a no validation, nothing is there. But for the model binder, you have to create one model. First, you have to create model. That is a student model. Are here to write first one is that a student and the second one was name and third one was code okay so this three is there first one student added name and code so what you have to to do in that action method so instead of form collection i'm going to make a copy of this one so you can see I comment this one yeah i'm going to remove this one this particular form form collection so going to create that add the first reference now write that object student model so no need to assign anything okay now make a breakpoint here Now check because he, uh, if you will look that form collection, you have to write like that. You have to assign that particular student ID, name, code. If it will be more filled, but because here in that uh, view, you yeah, have they have it's a three field only. But if it the more filled, just like in the if you check with uh, some knockery website is there, there is uh, so much filled with there. So you cannot like that. Ah, uh, you cannot add in a form collection. You can write so much things. And second problem is that he, there is a no validation here. I will, will check that one. First, uh, run the application. Yeah. 
and enter some value just like 1001 take this and 001 now press the submit button now see you are getting the value but he, here you didn't assign that that all, all things is happening with the model vendor just see hmm? just like that but in the form collection it's not happening like that and second important thing is that here you can add validation also just like if you write using system dot component model dot data illustration I'm going to write some value going to write some attribute that is required this one is required error message imply ID is required just copy this one and paste it here imply oh sorry this one is a student no? student and this one will be the name and then is code okay and here you can check it because you are not doing anything just you can check here if model state dot is valid if it's valid that particular attribute if it will be valid here that what you are going to enter in the view if it's valid then the model state will be true otherwise it will give the return the false so validation also you can check with the help of a model binder just enter one like a text and I'm going to press submit let's see you can see here it's a model state dot is valid is that false okay because it's not valid this kind of thing you cannot do with that help of a form collection okay press f5 if you will enter all those things just like a student ID this take to send and use the one I'm now going to submit you see now it's a true okay I hope it's a clear. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we are going to learn uh, custom model vendor. Thanks for watching.